Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing some applications of arithmetic mean, and uh, these are the solved problems. They can be really beneficial in order to understand numerical application of arithmetic mean. So, if you see this particular video, there is a man who purchases five rolls of ribbons. So, he's purchasing ribbons, five rolls of them. Let me change the color of the pen. Sounds good. And the length of each ribbon roll is same, 60 meters. The rates are given little tricky, the little trick, 4, 6, 10, 12, 15 meters a rupee. Find the average price. So when I talk about average price of a ribbon, then I may want to find out that in 1 rupee, how many meters I'm going to get uh, in general. How many meters I'm going to get in a rupee? That is what I want to find out. So uh, let's let's say if let us suppose the maths which is going to work out before taking a simple average, I have to see uh, that uh, what is the cost of each roll. So there are five rolls. So I'm talking about a roll A which is available at this price. So these could be different qualities of ribbons. So that's why they are available at different rates. So just watch this carefully. I'll show you this calculation. So length is 60 meters of this particular rule. And the cost at which it is available is 4 meters per rupee. So I want to know that what is the cost of roll A. So I'll do a very simple maths. 4 meters are available for 1 rupee. This is right from here. So, 1 meter would be available for 1 by 4 rupees. And uh, it's pretty simple, you know. Uh, if, you know, 5 mangoes are available for 60, then how much exactly 1 mango is available for? And uh, then comes, I have a total length of 60 meter. So, this roll would be available as per meter cost price sorry multiplied by total length right 60 meters which is here and that is going to give me 15 rupees so a roll a is going to cost me 15 rupees now what about roll b so again the length is same 60 meters again i have been given with a price of 6 meters per rupee and the total cost of roll would be 60 by 6 same logic you can see on the left and that is going to be available for 10 rupees so the cost of roll b is 10 same way roll c length is 60 meters the price is 10 meter per rupee so it is a probably a lower quality ribbon so that's why you know more length is available in one rupee so it is going to be 60 by 10, that is going to be 6 rupees. So this is 6. Roll D, again the length is same, 60 meters. And now it is available as 12 meters per rupee. So maybe a little more lower quality of ribbon than 60 by 12 is going to give me the total cost of the roll. And that is exactly 5 rupees. So that is 5 rupees. And there is one more roll E, 60 meters of length, 15 meters a rupee is the cost. So the cost of a ribbon E, sorry, roll E is going to be 60. Uh, and that is going to be meter per rupee. So I'm just going to show you a little bit unit stuff also. It's going to cancel out. And I'm left with 4 rupees. So that is 4. So now I have total length. How much total length I have purchased? If you see all five ribbons, 60 times 5, 300 meters of length is purchased. And the total amount paid is 10 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4. And of course, the 15 here. So this is the total amount I paid. I bought this roll for 15 rupees, bought this one for 10, this one for 6, this one for 5, this one for 4. So if I add that, that means 15 plus 10 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4. I think I covered it all. So 
so that makes it rupees 40 so average price let me change the color of the pen so average price of ribbon average price of the ribbon will be given by total length purchased which is 300 meters right from here divided by total price paid for all the ropes 40 rupees and that gives you 7.5 meters a rupee so in one rupee on an average you are getting 7.5 meter length of ribbon thank you let's see more problems